On Celebrating Parados Through the Word, August 22nd, the subjects we are covering are following Jesus, we are going, and assumptions. Hello and welcome to Celebrating Parados Through the Word. Our first parado is on the subject of following Jesus and it is found in Matthew 8:22. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, believing in me as master and teacher, and allow the spiritually dead to bury their own dead. In this scripture, Jesus is inviting this person to come follow him, to let go of those things that that person is holding onto as security and letting it all go to follow Jesus. Jesus will give us everything we need. He is our security. Everything else appears to be security, but the only one that is truly our security is Jesus Christ. There is no other security in this life. Even though we fool ourselves, the enemy wants to entice us that something is more secure in life, there is nothing more secure than being in the center of God's will. And that is following Jesus. So I encourage you today, follow him with everything you have and you will be in the most secure place you've ever been. Will you pray this prayer in response to this parable today? Father, thank you for inviting me to follow you. Help me to surrender everything to follow you as my all in all, in Jesus' name. Our second parado is found in Luke 8:22, and this is on the subject of we are going. Luke 8:22. Now on one of those days, Jesus and his disciples got into a boat, and he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side of the lake, Sea of Galilee. So they set out. I would encourage you to read this passage of scripture, Luke 8. It is an incredible story that Jesus uses in my life to encourage me that what he says is going to happen is going to happen. The disciples got into a situation where storms came and they got scared and they honestly forgot for a few moments what Jesus said. Jesus said, we're going to the other side. And because of the obstacles and the storms that came up, they completely flipped out. They were scared. They thought they were going to die, drown. But Jesus said, we're going to the other side. And the Lord encourages me often with this passage of scripture that Amy we are going to the other side I told you we we're going to that place in your life trust me no matter what it looks like so I encourage you with that same encouragement if the Lord has spoken something to you in your life know that he has you no matter what obstacles may come no matter what storms in life may come he has you. Again, with that last parado, he is your secure place. You can trust him. Will you pray this prayer in response to this parado with me? Father, thank you for inviting me to join you on this great adventure called life. May I never doubt you, no matter what obstacles may arise, in Jesus' name. And our last parado is found in John 8, 22. And this is on the subject of assumptions. So the Jews were asking among themselves, will he kill himself? Is that why he says, where I am going, you cannot come? Wow, that's an assumption. <laughs> so this parado encourages me and I hope it encourages you. We need to be careful about our assumptions. When the Lord says something 
to be careful about assuming what he means. So it's important that we do not make assumptions about what the Lord said or what the Lord is doing in our lives. We need to yield to the Holy Spirit and wait on Him and not jump to conclusions, but allow Him to take us through this life step by step. So will you pray this prayer in response to this paradox? Father, may I not try to reason out why you are doing or saying something. Your ways and thoughts are much higher than my ways and thoughts. In Jesus' name. I hope truly that these paradoxes have been encouraging to you as they have been an encouragement to me. I hope you have a wonderful week. We will see you on Wednesday for our Lift series. And remember... Loving God and loving others gives us our wings to fly. May you have an incredible day. Take care.